Hey guys, welcome back to the Wellums World YouTube channel. Today we have another tier list and we are looking at every single Pokemon starter, uh, first stage starter. Um, I thought I'd do this because I recently started streaming um, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on the channel. Um, and I've played pretty much all of the Pokemon games. I think there's a couple that I've not played um, in terms of generations in the mainline games. Um, however, I've watched quite a lot of the show as well and things like that. So um, I like to think I've uh, I've at least seen, you know, you know, these Pokemon and, and things like that. And I've played Pokemon Go and such. So yeah, this is this is the tier list. The, these are all of them from Gen One to Nine, and then the Let's Go inclusions as well. So we've got Gen 1 here, which is obviously Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Gen 2, which is Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile. Uh, Gen 3, which is Trico, Torchip, Mudkip. Gen 4, which is Turtwig, Chimchar and Piplup. Gen 5, which is Snivy, Tepig, Oshawott. We've got Gen 6, which is Chespin, Fennekin and Froakie. We've got Gen uh, 7, which is Rowlet, Litten and Poplio. Gen 8, which is Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble. Gen 9, which is Sprigatito, Fuecoco, Quaxley. And then we've got Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which we've got Eevee there. And Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, um, which of course is, is Pikachu. And we've got Goat, Amazing, Good, Meh, Bad, and Awful. Um, not sure how in, in what order I'm going to put these in, uh, in terms of where I'm going to start, where I'm going to finish, things like that. Um, so without further ado, we'll just get into it. But by the end of it, I will have a worst to best ranking. I'm going to try not to focus too much on like the show, because obviously if it was the show, Pikachu would be goat because it's like Ash's Pokemon, you know how, and he's been like there the whole way through. So I'm going to try not to like use the show. I'm going to try and focus on them as starters in terms of how they are in the games, as opposed to like what they're like in the show, um, because I don't remember every inclusion in the show anyway. Um, but these are all images that I've got got on um and i've like sort of created these so you know if you did want to um, do it yourself i'm sure you could you could look it up and, and find it and, and let me know what you what you put as but without further ado let's get straight into it and the way i look at it is this is like iconic right the first three and you've got a few like a lot of people would say turtwig chimchar piplup is like the peak you know gen 4 is is the peak um, and then it kind of has fallen off in recent times, and I would have to agree to an extent. I mean, I think the weakest gens we have got are 7, 8, 9, um, especially the water starters. I would be genuinely happy to put 7, 8, 9 water starters pretty much in awful. Um, I know we've only got the initial, um, the starter first like evolution in this list but i will be taking into consideration the evolutions as well um so why don't we start with the most recent games uh gen 9 scarlet and violet which i have played uh, i got the violet version um and i'm going to do it this way so sprigatito So, my reasoning for this is I chose Fue Coco based on these designs, these designs, the three uh, like first stage designs, initial stage designs, they're all okay. Sprigatito is the weakest in my opinion. I like Quaxley and I like Fue Coco. I think Fue Coco looks really, actually quite good. They just get really ugly in the second stage. And then what I don't understand necessarily is the... Um, putting like a, a cat Pokemon and then putting them on two legs for the final stage doesn't quite make sense to me just keep it on four legs you know it's the same thing with uh, uh, Litten becoming uh, Incineroar which I don't think is as egregious um, Fennekin also has that uh, trait um, yeah and it's just not for not for me necessarily um, in terms of that and I, I get the kind of you know based on like a sort of Spanish theme and they're like carnival and you know as they evolve they become more like carnival characters and, and Quaxley is the it's probably the most uh the sort of prime example of 
uh, of that theme. Um, I think you can tell with with Sprigatito as well because she kind of has like the masquerade mask thing on. Uh, and Fue Coco is, I mean, his final, you know, going into Skeledurge, it's just not for me. It just doesn't look right. And in, in the game itself, it looks really like angular and, and weird. It doesn't look like a like a natural sort of animal, if you will. Um, which is why I think um, they've gone to where they are. I think f for me... Um, Fue Coco's initial design and, and the way it looks is kind of brings it to meh from bad. Um, but I think if you if you did one based on the second stages, they'd all be bad uh, at least. And I think they'd all be I think Fue Coco would be bad for Final Evolution tier, and and the other two would be awful because I just it, it's not it's not my cup of tea. Um, and I think they're kind of kind of easy to put in place. Um, do I continue on with that vein? I'm going to put Fennekin in bad and Litten in meh because I think Incineroar is put maybe the, the ones that go from four legs to two legs, which I was talking about. Uh, it kind of happens with Sobble as well, but Sobble's not really strictly a four legged creature, I suppose. But in terms of Incineroar, is probably the, 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 the best of the, the, the bipedal where they like go onto four legs. Um, that we've gone to two legs from four legs, should I say? It's probably the best version of of that that sort of design feature. Um, and Fennekin, I think, is another one that is just is just bad. So if we continue on with that vein, we've got Rowlet and Poplio from um, Litten's Gen, and we've got Chespin and Froakie um, from uh, Fennekin's. So we're going to continue on with. I think Rowlet goes into good, and I think Poplio goes into bad for me. Um, Rowlet is my favourite out of these three, uh, between um, Rowlet, Litten and Poplio. Rowlet is my favourite. The middle evolution, not so keen on, but um, the final evolution, I think, makes up for it as well, um, in terms of just design in general. Um, we've obviously been deciduized kind of like a, you know I think it it's um, the best out of the three and I think I just don't like Poppio's design in any way whatsoever I would I would I would be very surprised if so looking at these if anyone picks based on these initial designs I can imagine people picking Sprigatito um, and then just being really disappointed when she when she evolves but with these three if any i would be very surprised if anyone ever picked poplio when it was sort of out i can't imagine many people doing that and we'll continue on in this vein and i'm going to put i think chess pin in in, in good is, is maybe slightly controversial but i really like chestnut i like i like his final evolution and i think gray ninja out of the three uh, oh sorry out of the three uh, in this generation is the best one fennekin's by far the worst but i think i do really like gray ninja um as a final evolution as well uh, so i think that's that's pretty standard in terms of that uh, generation um right let's do some slightly more positive ones i would say i'm gonna put chimchar piplup in amazing turtwig in the goated tier Turtwig's my guy. I always pick Turtwig. Torterra is a fucking beast. The fact he's got like a a um, like a a, sh like a tree and shit growing on his shell. Um, I really like that design. I know some people aren't necessarily a fan of. Some people would probably put actually, you know what? Infernape is goaded as well. Infernape becomes fighting of fire as well, um, which is which is pretty cool. Um, but his design as well is, is good. I, I'm just not as keen on uh, Piplop's final design. I think it's his name, Empoleon, um, I believe is his name. It's just not... I don't... I mean, I get it. Um, and I think it's cool. I like the trident on his head. 
um, but I just don't think it's as good as these. I think there's something about it that just puts me off a little bit in terms of, you know, those. Um, it seems a little bit all over the place at the moment, really, doesn't it? But we'll, we'll continue on. Um, I don't really know why I'm going in this order. Um, so, next in line, we are going to go with this Snivy, Tepig and Oshawott. Um, I feel like most people would pick uh, Snivy would be like their first pick. But I'm going to just straight up put them all in meh. I think Samurott is okay um, in terms of a final evolution. And I remember it being in Pokemon Legends Arceus, I'm pretty sure you can get Oshawa as a starter. I think I think Oshawa is the one I chose as a starter. Um, and I think he's like, okay, but a Serperia, it's not my favourite design um, in the world. It's just kind of mid. Um, and I think they all kind of are. I do kind of like Embor. There's something about Embor that I do like. Uh, Tepix Final Evolution. Um... But again, I just don't think. I just there's think something weird about it that I just look at it and I think that's not really. It's just kind of meh. It's just the most meh looking trio out of every trio. I would say. I think everyone, like well, obviously, I think the uh, the Gen Nine Pokemon maybe uh, top that. But moving on, we will go on to. Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. I will, I'm going to put Mudkip and Trico in... I'll put them all in good, initially. Mudkip is my favourite out of the three when he becomes Swampert. Um, that's an example of one where he's on four feet and he stays on four feet. And, it, and I think it's, um, it really adds to his, to his design. Uh, you've got Sceptile, which I think is another cool design, um, is a final evolution with Trico. Um, I would always pick Mudkip out of the three, um, but I do really like uh, Sceptile. And Blaziken, I do think, is probably the weakest out of them. I, I'm just not really... something about the design I'm just not huge on. Uh, it's just kind of meh. Um, but I think it maybe, or it maybe goes above... You know, Fue Coco, and I think, but I think it is the most meh out of all of the ones in that generation. So we'll move on to Gen 2, and I think Chikorita goes into meh. Syndical and Totodile, great. They're amazing. I love Totodile. Totodile is my favourite one out of these, uh, out of these three. Um, wow. Well, I don't know, actually. Cyndaquil is a beast as well. Um, I would always pick one of the. I would pick one of the two. Um, you know, I like, I like the design of Fur Alligator as well. Uh, Totodar's final de design is is probably my favourite. I know, um, out of the three, it's probably my favourite. I think a lot of people do like. Um, Cyndaquil's final evolution, uh, which I've forgotten his name for some reason. Why have I forgotten his name? Typhlosion. I had to just uh, look that up. For some reason, his name completely blanked out of my head. So I apologise for that. Typhlosion is. I think a lot of people would put Typhlosion ahead of for Alligator, um, but I just think no one's picking Chikorita, right? Like you've got these two, as the, there's the other two. No one's picking Chikorita. I mean, the design looks pretty. St like you've got Bulbasaur in Gen One, and then you've got Chikorita in like Gen Two. It's kind of like you know, it's just not. I don't know. There's something about it. I can't really put my finger on it, but the, the designs are kind of just like meh for, for Chikorita and just, there's just nothing that's gripping about it. there's nothing that's making me think this is a good design this is a good Pokemon 
So the ones we have left are Gen 8, which is Sword and Shield, Gen 1, which is obviously the, the OGs, Pikachu and Eevee. Now I'm going to put Pikachu and Eevee both in good in terms of starters for Let's Go. They're really strong. Uh, you can level them up a lot um, and they are very, very strong and they get all the special sort of moves and, and abilities and things during the game that you unlock. They can do them. Um, obviously I played Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, didn't play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, but I'm assuming obviously they're, they're similar sort of standards. The only issue I've got with them is that they refuse to evolve. I get why for the sort of story in terms of the game, but that's kind of what would stop them from if you could have if you could have evolved your Eevee that's the f absolute fucking beast you know I know you can catch uh, you can catch Eevees in the game and Pikachus in the game and evolve them but if you could evolve these ones which are really strong then they'd be an amazing because if you could get like a Jolteon or a Vaporeon or a Flareon even or, or a Raichu they'd, they'd go in amazing because they would just slap but they just stay in good because you can't evolve them uh, and then you've got the OG3 and Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble from Gen 8. And I'm going to put Sobble in awful. Uh, it's a similar thing with Sprigatito. I really like. I, I do like the initial design, but I think he just becomes like shit. Um, I think the design kind of becomes shit after that. Um, got Grookey, which I'm going to put in good. And you've got Score Bunny, which I'm going to put in good. Nobody's choosing Sobble. If, I think if anyone genuinely chooses Sobble, there's something there's something majorly wrong there because Grookey's initial design is Score and Rillaboom is uh, absolutely it's such a good. I really like the design. Um, it's just a massive fucking like gorilla type guy, um, which I think is which I think is it's my favourite out of the three um, in the TV show. I think Score Bunny slash Cinderace as his final form gets more sort of um, screen time, and you in, and I think if you watch the show rather than play the game, you'd probably pick Score Bunny over over Grookey if you watch the show first. But I didn't. I played the game first. Chose Grookey. I think Grookey's awesome. Sobble is just not for me. And I think to to end it off, I'm gonna whack all three of the initials and in goated because. Um, I think the final evolution for, for Bulbasaur is a bit ugly, but he's like the strongest one, so I would pick Bulbasaur 9 times out of 10. But I think, you know, he gets ugly. Charizard um, is just a sick design, it's just a massive fucking dragon, and um, Blastoise is just a giant turtle with fucking cannons on his back. And I know a lot of people's issues with Turtwig is that it's just another turtle starter, which I kind of get, but it goes in a different direction. Like he has the big fucking cannons on his back and he's an absolute tank on he's, he's bipedal as well. But he's like on all fours and he's a fucking absolute unit. Um So this is the these are the tiers that I would put all of them in. Um now we rearrange them. And I think Sobble I think Sobble goes just above Sprigatito. I think these are fine as they are. Um in Meh, I would put Fuecoco at the top of Meh. Um, probably Litten. Uh, actually, I put Snivy at the bottom. Oshawott would go above. And I think I'd put Chikorita above as well. And then in Good, I'd put Torchic at the bottom. I'd move Grookey up ahead of most of them. I'd put Rowlet back down. I'd keep them kind of middle. Um, Bring Trico back down. There's a lot of swapping about here. I put, oh, Mudkip goes at the top, of course he does. Uh, there's a little bit of chopping and changing. And I'm going to put Chess Pin just above these. Uh, that will do for that. Uh, and I'm going to put... I think I kind of have to put Squirtle... I think that's my that's my list. So from worst to best, you got Sprigatito, then Sobble, then Poplio, Fennekin, and Quaxley. You've got Snivy, Tepic, Chikorita, Litten, Oshawa, Fuecoco. Then you've got Torchic, uh, Rowlet, Trico, Chespin, Pikachu, Eevee, Score Bunny, then Froakie, Grookey, and Mudkip. 
Then you've got Piplup, Cyndaquil, and Totodile, Chimchar, Bulbasaur, Turtwig, Charmander, and Squirtle. I don't think many people would really argue with the top five. I think maybe some people would put Piplup up there um, and maybe take out Turtwig. I think it would probably be what most people would do. Um, but that's my sort of definitive final list of, of Pokemon starters. Um, in terms of, I know I've said these are the, the initial, if I did final forms, they'd probably be slightly different. Um, it, there probably would be a few differences in there, of course. Um, however, if I take into the, the whole of it in account, um, then this is the sort of, this is the, the, the list that I've sort of come up with. Um, let me know if you've got any differences in the comments. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of differences. I'm sure there's going to be people probably uh, who would disagree with a lot of these. Um, but this is where I've kind of fallen in terms of what I would decide as as the, as the sort of tier list. Um, so yeah, let me know if you change anything. Um, and yeah, leave a comment. I'm always open for discussion. I do like doing these tier lists on Saturdays. Uh, I always like the sort of... Um, discussions that can come across um and we'll see yeah but like i said next week we'll have another tier list uh, and we'll just keep this trend going for as long as i enjoy doing them i did quite enjoy i've quite enjoyed recording them i quite enjoy just just chatting and talking about them and, and when it's something that's relevant like obviously with with zombie maps and things i know i did i did a cheese cheese tier list and a milk tier list which aren't really relevant to the channel but when it's things like this where i've i've started um streaming pokemon let's go eevee on the channel um and as such i'm like i got back into sort of enjoyment of pokemon and, and i thought you know why not talk about it some more uh, the same thing with obviously zombies maps and, and and things like that with black ops coming out and me streaming a lot of zombies on the channel anyway so i quite like if we can interpret things that i do on the channel into these tier lists then that adds another layer to it but i'm willing to literally talk about anything um but yeah, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like. Like I said, always open for discussion in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.